Hi, my name is Bill Raymond, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Node.js on your Mac. This is a what I call the newbie beginner series because I learned a lot in the last few weeks getting all this set up on my own computers. So I want to show that to you. So this is how to do it on the Mac. I'll also show you how to do it on the PC in another video. There are a few ways to install Node on your Mac. One way is to just go to the node.js.org node site, as you can see here, click the Downloads link, and install the Macintosh installer, and just follow the steps. Now, one of the things that it's going to do is it's going to tell you to make sure that the path is accurate. Uh, I've had issues where the path didn't work out, and then I couldn't run Node, and also, as you start getting into using Node and React and JavaScript programming, you're going to find that a lot of people tell you to use this program called Brew or Homebrew. And that's over here on this brew.sh site. I've actually been using this and feel that this is a better way to do the installation of Node. It's really not that different it's still getting the same exact code from the nodejs.org site, but this program is doing it for you. And the same program can install other projects instead of just Node. It can install many other things that are out there and available to you as a programmer on the web. Before you install Homebrew, most people recommend that you have Xcode installed on your computer. Now, Xcode is Apple's software development environment. That's how you create an iPad app or a Mac app, an iOS app. Now, you do not have to use Xcode to do any programming. You just want that installed so that you have all the components needed before you install Homebrew. So, installing Xcode is easy. Just press Command Space on your keyboard and type the word App Store and press Enter. This will open up the Mac App Store, and you can search for Xcode and press Enter. Here you can see I already have Xcode installed, but if I didn't, I would have had a little Get link here, and then it would have said Install. And then Xcode will download and install, and it will take you a while. So block off a few hours maybe for, this, for some of these uh, videos that I'm posting here. So this will be uh, your initial step. After Xcode is installed, you can come back and we'll go ahead and install the Homebrew application. Make sure you're at brew.sh and then there's a simple instruction, how to install Homebrew. It has some text here, so just go ahead and select that text quotes and all, right click and choose copy. Now it says here, paste that in a terminal prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser and I'm going to show you how to get to terminal. Make sure you click on the desktop so you have at the top of your menus here, finder, file, edit, view, go, window, etc. You're looking for go. And then you're looking for utilities. And then you're going to find the terminal icon. Double click on that. I'll just close this window in the background. So this is how you run terminal. I'm going to show you an easier way. I'm just going to exit here. And this time I'm just going to press command space on my keyboard and I'll type the word terminal and press enter. That does the same exact thing. Now this is something that was a little bit hard for me to understand originally when I started learning how to use Node and React and JavaScript. Very often there's people asking you to install different things. And you'll do that through the terminal window. But some people will say open Bash. Well Bash is the same thing as a terminal window. Bash is a programming language. And so if someone says open bash on your Mac or open the terminal window on your Mac, just go to terminal and follow the instructions. All right, now we want to install brew. So I'm just going to paste 
that text in that we had before. And I can do that from Edit, Paste, or I can just press Command V, as you can see here. I'll do that. I'll type Command V on my keyboard. And then I'll just press Return. Now what it's telling me is that a script is going to run. And this information is going to be downloaded from this website, raw.githubusercontent.com, homebrew, etc. So this does need to be connected to the internet. It's going to pull the files down that you need. Right here you can see it says, press return to continue. So I'll do that. And then it's asking for me for my password. What's happening now is Brew is Homebrew is installing all the things that it needs, downloading it from the website and putting it into my Mac. Now you can see Homebrew is installed and it just says type Brew help to get started. Well, we'll just do that just to make sure that indeed Brew is installed because Brew is going to run the Brew program and then help is an instruction I'm giving it and it's going to give me some help information. So I'll press return and you can see there's a whole bunch of th stuff that popped up here. So we don't need to worry about any of this really right now because what we want to do is just install node. So the way we do that is we type brew install node. Once you press the enter key, Homebrew is going to download everything that you need from the web. Again, this is downloading it from the various websites and it's downloading it and installing it onto your Mac. There, so now Node is installed on our computer. Just like we did with the Brew program, we can also see if Node is running by doing the same thing with the node help. Although this time we're going to type node space dash help and press the return key. And you can see here there's a whole bunch of commands that it provides so that we can see the different commands you can run with node. For now we're just going to say node is all set and you can go ahead and start using it. But the other thing that you might be wondering is what about this NPM thing? NPM is a Node Package Manager. And Node Package Manager comes with Node. So when you run Terminal and you wanted to just run Node Package Manager, just type NPM and whatever command you need to. I'll just type dash help here and you can see it's giving me some updates. And also it said, oh, by the way, if you want to do uh, a command dash H, then that will also um, provide more information on a particular command. So Node is installed, NPM is installed. Anytime someone tells you to use Node or NPM, let's walk through this. All we need to do is just press Command Space on our keyboard, go to Terminal, and start working. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the TechGenix site, you like this video, and maybe even make a comment in the comments section. It really does help. Thank you very much.